Welcome to my lecture online. In this video we're going to make clear the difference between gravity and the acceleration due to gravity and also the difference between big G and little g. Now gravity is essentially the force. We think of it as a force. We don't know exactly what causes it, but we think of it as a force between two objects. When two objects has mass, gravity is the force that pulls the two objects together. And the equation that we use is F equals, the force equals, the universal gravitational constant G times the product of the two masses of the two objects divided by the distance between them squared. And yes, indeed, it's the distance to the center of mass of the two objects. And G is a universal gravitational constant that is good for the whole universe. Everywhere in the universe, two objects will attract one another. We can calculate the force of attraction, and that will be the constant to be used anywhere in the universe. Little g represents acceleration due to gravity. And if we go back to the equation, F equals ma, Newton's second law, we can, instead of using a, the acceleration, we can use the acceleration due to gravity. Any object that's dropped near a big object like the Earth will be attracted, will accelerate towards the Earth at acceleration due to gravity. And the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, roughly speaking. It's a little bit more at the poles, it's a little bit less at the equator, but without those type of details, we can say it's about 9.8 meters per second squared. Now what we can do is we can set F equals mg, equal to the force of gravity. So mg can be said equal to g mm over r squared. Now this is little g, this is big G. Notice that the mass on both sides cancel out, so we can now have an equation that tells us that the acceleration due to gravity is equal to the universal gravitational constant times the mass of the object you're residing on, typically the Earth, divided by the distance squared between the center mass of the object and the center mass of the Earth. So essentially it will be the radius of the Earth unless you're far away from the Earth. You plug in the numbers, knowing the gravitational constant, the mass of the Earth, the radius of the Earth in meters, and out comes 9.8 meters per second squared. So that's how we can tell the difference between the force of gravity and the acceleration due to gravity. It's the force that causes acceleration and the difference between big G and little g. Big G being the universal gravitational constant, little g being the acceleration due to gravity. And that is how it's done.